And this is probably going to be my last Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Shadows video for some time now. For some time now. For some time now. Well, that didn't last long. Good evening, ladies and gents. My name is Hyozo and I'm disgusting. And today we're back with another Ubisoft Assassin's Creed video. I genuinely didn't think that I would have anything to talk about after my last video when Ubisoft delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows to February of 2025. I thought that they're gonna be quiet and it's not gonna be a lot of news regarding that game apart from some speculations or an update here and there from time to time. However, we just received a potential bombshell. I want to mention Craig from Side Scrollers, who is the first person I saw today who covered this video, which is from Endymion, about a absolute mind-blowing revelations that he covered in what we're about to see about Assassin's Creed Shadows. But before I continue this video, I just have a little announcement to make. I just recently passed 3000 watch hours and this unlocked certain features on YouTube for me. For one, I have now super chat, super mentions and all of those perks on live streaming. But what I have more importantly is the option to join my channel and subscribe for a fee. I have added a single membership tier for the moment because I'm still having my day job and I'm still a bit limited on what I can offer well I have it for what what is precisely a minimum fee and if you enjoy my content and want to support me in my ventures to doing this full time then I would be very honored to have you there so you can just go to one of my videos and click the join button if you would like thank you now back to the video before we watch the portion of the video that is important to what I'm about to say I just want to mention that these are current regarded as rumors and nothing is concrete. However, Endymion does mention that he has inside information from people that apparently either are connected to Ubisoft or work for the company that have provided him with a lot of information regarding the game and what the development was and continues to be. So what we're about to see is his take on the matter with what he says that are verified pieces of information and I just want to review and put my thoughts into it. So without any further ado, let's do this. Hey everyone, it's Endymion and recently I've been talking to some sources about Assassin's Creed Shadows behind the scenes and a lot of things that are happening at Ubisoft and even other game studios as well and the things that I've been getting told are pretty damning so with their consent I've been able to make this video and present you the various things that they've told me I've okay so he does say a lot that he has these sources so I'm not gonna say anything but I am inclined to believe him because at the very least no sensible person would do a video like this saying so many times throughout the whole video that he has the sources and sources information and keeping it really close uh, and Demion is a big channel so this is something that actually leans towards his credibility on the matter because potential information like this saying what he's about to say is something that i think might get him into trouble so i i am inclined to believe what he's saying also we're not going to watch the full video we're just gonna watch around four minutes of it and i strongly urge you to go to his channel and watch it i will link it down in the description below okay vetted these sources and they have indeed worked with ubisoft for many years as well as other game studios as well yeah they even told me things about games that aren't released yet that i actually can't even say because i think if i do that assassins from other studios will probably barrel roll through my window and then take me out john wick style <laughs> that's actually i i do think he kind of thinks that but yeah in the in the realm of joking spend this video explaining the absolute state of assassin's creed shadows star wars outlaws apparently being referred to as red dead star wars internally and more 
And there's... Yeah, apparently from information, just as a little input, Star Wars Outlaws has sold around 1 million, if not less, copies. This is not good for a Star Wars franchise. This is not good for almost any game with a big budget. But yeah, 1 million. Other stuff that you just gotta hear because a lot of this is just absolutely insane. It in is. my previous video, I explained that Paul Passy of Forbes said in his article about the Ubisoft implosion yep. that those extra months have been given to possibly reduce or even completely remove Yasuke from Assassin's Creed Shadows. My yeah, so apparently, <laughs> something that I missed in the past few days is that there apparently have been talks to remove Yasuke as they view him as the most controversial thing about Assassin's Creed Shadows. I have to disagree with that because while Yasuke was the trigger, for all the controversy that has happened with the Assassin's Creed Shadows in the past months, it's most definitely not the main thing anymore. It, it, the, the focus has shifted, like, you have so much more grievous shit happening with Ubisoft that they did on the on on the game side like with the flag stealing with the half tory gate that was actually the the last nail i talked about in my last video so i don't think yasuke is the main focus but i do know like i do see how they are going to think that if they do that it's going to solve a lot of their problems and it's going to appease a lot of people but that would not remove the other problems from the game that still exist if they don't address them my source told me however that they heard february 2025 is simply a placeholder release date as of now apparently this is because ubisoft is scrambling and they need certain key talent in order to assist on a q2 game release which if you don't know what that means there's four quarters to a calendar year so q2 means ubisoft has something that they think will hit that is coming out later in the year that they need help on so because talent at the studio is working to make that future release come out more smoothly Shadows is not being given the extra hands it kind of needs right now, so like I said, the release date may actually be pushed back even further. Yeah, so when you delay a product, you need time to fix the things that are missing or just to remove some of the bugs. And yet, yeah, while four and a half months, by my estimate, is not a short time at all, it is quite a short depending on what you're trying to fix. And if they're trying to really remove Yasuke, this is outlandishly short amount of time, especially if you don't have any additional help that are familiar with what you have been doing up until this point. This is going to be either a lot of overtime for a lot of workers and a lot of sleepless nights, or it's just they're going to delay it even further, as Endymion said. I was also told when they originally saw the game, there was indeed a male Japanese protagonist with their own finalized art and even animations. Yeah, so apparently there has been a Japanese protagonist in the beginning and this is actually not news i generally cannot remember if i explicitly covered this or i mentioned it in one of my last videos because i've made a lot of videos on this topic but i read somewhere several months ago that there was probably an original japanese character and there was actually art game art that was firstly depicted when the game was announced which was very suspicious at the time and it was very illogical to change that especially when you want to have a good japanese themed assassin's creed they don't know if this character will be reintroduced in order to replace yasuke but they are skeptical that ubisoft will actually remove yasuke altogether due to the whole political you know backlash they'll get from journalists and so on yeah. They did say that the game's first act is heavily story-driven until it eventually opens up to your more traditional open-world Ubisoft experience. Yeah, so when you have story-driven games, basically the storyline heavily revolves around the events that the protagonists, in this case, are doing. And it's more likely than not to be tied to, let's say, say their origins, their backstory, or something specific in them. So if they want to replace that, it's going to have to rewrite the whole script for the storyline, which that means additional motion capture, details, new voice lines, new voice actors, changes in the animation, in pro possibly the levels, the travels, the packs, everything that has already been made into the 
what is actually an almost complete game by this point will have to be rewritten at least partially and in addition afterwards you still gonna have to change the the protagonist's design because he, you're still gonna play with with him as like for the rest of the game and that the big hurdle there if they were to remove yasuke would be to practically change almost everything about act one so yeah. to speak if they were to remove the character entirely. exactly so could they remove yasuke with this already done but thrown aside japanese they character? could it's a big maybe but they said that they weren't sure of it yet they also told me they heard rumblings that Sweet Baby Inc. may have had a hand in Shadows, but they can't <laughs> confirm that 100% yet. So take that allegation with a huge, big, fat shot of skepticism right now, okay? But like I was saying, the game did first include a male Japanese main character, but they were swapped sometime during 2020, according to my source for Yasuke instead. <laughs> so this is where stuff gets really weird and pandering. But yeah, he mentions 2020, he's gonna explain 2020, but try to remember what happened in 2020 and before I continue with the video, and let's see if you guessed it right. Write it down in the comments below if you guessed it right. What influenced Ubisoft to make the change that they did from the original Japanese male character to now Yasuke? They said that Ubisoft was heavily influenced by the socio-political events of the time, with stuff like, and no I'm not kidding, George Floyd dying, the riots, Did you and get Black it? Lives Matter exploding in support. So don't shoot the messenger here, but this is what I was told by the source, but Ubisoft may have opted to include Yasuke in order to pander to identity politics because of Black Lives Matter. So, yeah, if you haven't seen on social media, there is a meme. I'm going to show it right here. I think I, I think the resemblance is truly uncanny indeed. I do want to say something now, but I just want you to bear with me just a little bit further before I give you my opinion on better because this, it's been a long day and I have had time to ponder about it. And it's as comedical as it, it is tragic to have these news pointed out. I know, it's a, it's a hell of a statement. Again, they said they cannot confirm 100%, but they did okay. say that they have seen the original Japanese hero character and that they were actually mortified when they saw Yasuke <laughs> for the first time in <laughs> Mortified. Apparently, one of the videos that Ubisoft was showing of Yasuke originally, and no, I'm not kidding you, was Yasuke destroying a grocery store <laughs> property with his weapons in order to show the game's physics engine. But the source said that they couldn't believe how tone-deaf Ubisoft was, being considering they were literally showing a black guy in a foreign country destroying property. This lack of knowing what exactly. to do with shadows was all over the game, and like I said, Yasuke was inserted for identity political reasons. So this is what I will cover. From the video i do strongly urge you to check out the full video because there's a lot more not only for assassin's creed shadows but for star wars outlaw for future games that he's going to talk about and he has some information about them but exactly i'm gonna start from the last thing he said the promoting the game engine the game physics by showing how yasuke destroys a fruit stand or a grocery stand imagine being this progressive inclusive diverse group of people that ubisoft are constantly triggered about a misinterpretation of certain groups of people certain races of people and so on and so on and going and doing this this is what the fake inclusivity is because when you preach something on that level and you, you you just preach it because it is modern. It is something that someone told you that it's good to do it. It's very, very preferred that you would do something like this because you get someone's funding maybe or some company's endorsement or you have been consulted by a professional consultancy company for that that's when you realize just how fake all of this is with all the inclusivity and diversity and all those happy words that we love to hear and love to see them on the screen because that just entails that if nothing we'll get a lot of content on youtube to talk about because there hasn't been a single woke and i am using the word woke 
game that has succeeded. You have inclusive games, you have diverse games, which is something different, and it used to mean something totally different not too many years ago. And having diversity, inclusivity, and so on was, first of all, something that, if nothing was thought out very smartly. Furthermore, it was inserted into the game mechanics for simply giving you a choice or making you live out a fantasy or your personal preference, but it did not impose itself on you. It did not make you live the game by it and certainly the game didn't rub it in your face with the storylines with the plot and everything and i'm just gonna insert one game trilogy here mass effect that in my opinion did it as close to perfect as possible on that front they did all the inclusivity diversity and so on in a perfect manner without imposing themselves on you and just giving you the option to basically break free from something very standard and just have it for more people and that game trilogy was absolutely massive and continues to be very very massive but what endymion was mentioning is Actually, something that a lot of people have thought about and have speculated about that the Yasuke is nothing but a virtue signal, nothing but a politically charged insert for one reason or another. And because he mentions that he was added in 2020 when the George Floyd thing happened and all the Black Lives Matter and all everything else that has happened since then, this just pretty much confirms it. If we have we get the absolute solid evidence this will just confirm it as i said i do cling to the fact that he is at least speaking the truth about hearing it from insiders and people who know the industry and know ubisoft and whether or not they told him the truth now more unknown although he said that he fed them and he's pretty certain that they do speak the truth all in all assassin's creed shadows has failed it already has failed this video is just one more absolute bullet hole that will sting and will potentially lead to even more and more stupid decisions from ubisoft because every time that they mess up they do the next thing even worse they try to correct themselves to course correct like with the apology letter that they said with their world trailer that didn't feature hip-hop music but followed immediately after by the half a tory gate and they just don't know how to just get a firm ground under them take a step back read and just either cut the losses or redo the whole thing in order to, at the very least, show us that they're a company that listens to gamers. Remember what happened to the original Sonic design? The internet went absolutely bananas with the original design for Sonic and the movie makers just did it better. They stepped back, they listened to the community, they did it better, they did it how they were supposed to do it in the first place. And what happened? The movie was a success. We are already having a new one coming along and it's going to be a success as well because that's a statement that if you listen to the people who are actually fans and your potential fans, they're going to come true. They're going to buy the tickets. They're going to buy the game. They're going to play the game. They're going to watch the movie. They're going to stick around for the TV series. They're going to buy the merch. They're going to be faithful to you. But you have to, as a company, have to be faithful to them. What Assassin's Creed Shadow is, is a representation of when you're absolutely tone deaf to everything that your core audience, the people who matter the most, are saying for a for almost a year now. This is like a business company that imposes a new company rule everyone hates it but they are still having their fingers up their ears and they're going la 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 we know what's best for you we know what's best and you're gonna accept it and you're gonna be happy because we say that you're gonna be happy this is exactly the same situation but in a game setting and we're gonna have to wait for a response from ubisoft however this video is already getting a lot of tractions a lot of other youtubers have already covered it the last one i saw was the critical drinker on his gaming channel and you know that that's gonna have a lot of ripple effects because he's massive and he has already 
step out of the purely online media into the mainstream media partially with Pierce Morgan. So you know that this is going to have much, much more effects and very huge ripple effects on what Endymion has been saying. And I'm sure that we're going to get some form of response very soon. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like my content and want to see more, press the like and subscribe button, comment down under this video. What do you think about uh, these revelations that Endymion posted? Do you believe them? Do you deny them? Do you think there's any merit to what he has said? I strongly urge you once again to watch his full video on the matter and see for yourself exactly what he has to say. Follow me on my socials and Join my Patreon if you want to contribute to me raising money for homeless animals and animals in shelters. Join my channel to support me and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Helzo, this has been Disgusting, cheers and stay fresh.